What did you do, Corey? Oh, you killed the ghast? Does nothing? Are you done, Corey? Um. Yeah, I had to five foot up, so there's nothing else I could do. Okay. Okay, then we're on to the Bodak. I go before the Bodak. I have a plus five. Oh, okay. Well, you should put that in your initiative. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Five, five. Uh, I'm going to use my Dancy Dance as a full round action. So I'll go adjacent to this creeper over here and smack him. Kerplunk. I'll be dead. And there's my roll save. So that's five, ten. Nice roll save. That's three. Four. 35 for you. Um, 55. 55. 70. 5. Um, I'm going to attack these two creatures. I'm not averting my eyes or whatever, so I'll roll the fortitude save. Okay. Roll your stench as well. All right. There's a stench. Oh, fail the stench. Actually, the stench is 16, so that's oh. safe. Fuck his stench. Yeah, it is not particularly strong. Six of dice, half his level, plus his charisma modus. This is on the ghast. Oh. The ghast might be dead. Uh, how do you do your crits again? Max on the initial, and if you confirm, extra damage. How much extra? Whatever you do for damage extra. Yeah, he's dead. Because that's all power attack damage. Just about 30 of that's power attack damage, so I think he's just dead. 30 of it is power attack damage? Yeah, it's like the improved power attack feed. Nice. So I he, yeah, he's, he's dead. Uh... So you can roll your uh, will save. Yogi, Corey. I'm going to attack the undead man of destruction. Good job, Corey. Just shy. So you take three points. And you take three points as well, Kronos. Is it DC 24? It is DC 23. Yeah, we're good. We're within 60 feet of the save lady. Oh, okay. Uh, Corey would also be good, I think. Yeah, if you're and, not counting, uh, he's counting the plus two, though. 70. Are you including the plus two for being in my aura of protection from evil? Five. Probably not. But so I think Bodak. that doesn't stack with his ring. Bodak gets an AOL on me. I don't know how many he has, but I'm going to trigger at least two here, I think. Uh, he has not made an attack of opportunity on you, so he will. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You did a, yep, that takes some getting used to. No. He misses horribly. I probably should use combat expertise on these as well. Too late to go back now. Well, that uh, power attack damage was awesome. I don't know why you would take that back. Well, no, I, I meant, like, the combat expertise. 
with the plus 12, I'm able to just fucking ramrod my big spike chain up there, little booty. Yeah, but if you're already using all of your base attack to power attack, you don't have any left to put into combat expertise. Seven, five, four, three. Two, one, fifty, now forty-eight. And that is my turn. Okay. Uh, then we're on to the Bodak. So you can roll another save, Kronos. So he's able to double hit. It's unfortunate. Yeah, on his turn, he he can gaze, and uh, anytime you look at him, you get gazed. So, Corey, Barda, and Kronos can all roll your saves. Uh, Chrono, or Corey, you get your miss chance, so you can roll your percentile. That's a magic man in the back. Oh my god. This is fortitude against the Vodak, right? Yeah. Nice. Everybody makes the save. Another news, Corey. I flank if it helps. You do not flank. Oh yeah, yeah you do because you have a breach weapon. Yep, burr. You're all weak. No, I'll be sure to go up there and die. Go for it, buddy. Yeah, on his turn, he has to roll another save. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you're done, Kronos. Yep. The Bodak is gone. We're on to Yam. Um, do we still have greater haste? Yes. Yeah, I think you have it for a few more rounds. There's a magic man in the back. Thought I'd point that out. We know. We just can't get there. That's fine. I'll get there. If he... Wait, no, that's dumb. Sorry. I was going to say, back. why are you going into the empty cave? Um, I will avert your save. I will avert for the fifty-fifty. Okay. Nice. Okay. Then you can take your action. Um. Uh, what what is your total hit points, Yogi? A fuck ton. I'm only off by nine. Really? I oh, you had like 120 hit points. 103. Oh, okay. uh. Maybe I'm thinking of Corey. Or Barda? No, Barda's got 138. So I thought someone had Barda? 120 at the start. I do. I have 122. That's what I'm thinking of. Yogi used to 141 be total. Oh, why is it still 38 right now? Because I, you guess I didn't count. update it correctly. You added eight and then subtracted eight. Well, I had forgotten that. I think I had just punched in wrong. I think punched in one thirty-eight at the beginning, but it's supposed to be one forty-one based oh, on what okay. I calculated out this morning or earlier when we first started. Um, as part of my move action, I will pull out a wand of silence. Okay. And I'll cast it on Kronos. Okay. Oh, that should be. Do you have to use a magic device for a wand? Um, we double check. I don't the think answer so. is yes. Silence, yes. Silence is a bard spell. Then she doesn't. Oh, okay. Uh, let me double check. I did this right. As long as the spell is on your castable list, you can use it. Oh, right. It is too. Um, so yeah, it's 20 feet. Yeah, the only thing you really have to worry about, um, if you silence Kronos, you're going to silence, uh, what's his face too? Yogi. Yeah. Um, I think it's fine. He just fought for a step back. Um, so does this mean 
um, for my auras, they don't get it, right? Yep. Well, actually, actually, he gets it if he sees me, right? So, but if I go around the corner, he won't be able to hear me, so he doesn't get it. Yep. Uh, to see you, you would have to be doing a visual thing, which you would have to determine at that point. Um, and he would also have to be facing you to see it. You can't wave orders and instructions to him behind his back. You can yell orders behind his back. Oh, yeah, it's here. Yeah, okay, so it won't work on him. Um, but then the bard stuff still works because it's, I mean, it's a It works anyway. for another 10 rounds, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, and then that will be my turn. Are you tracking how long your song lasts for everyone else? Yes, they're five and Kronos is seven. Um, can I? I can dispel the silence at any time, right? Does it say it's dismissible? Uh, it says D, so yes. Okay. Just keep in mind, dis dismissing a spell is a standard action. Yeah. Okay, then we are on to Yogi. All right, I'm done. Okay. Uh, then we're on to the Mummy Lord. Almost not even worth rolling. Okay, so he will slam you. Um, but before he does that, he will use his smite and his death touch. No. Don't do it. So uh, smite increases his attack by two, so that's not significant. What is the 31 hit it? 31 will indeed do it, actually. My AC is 30. Plus 2 from his? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, wow. It's not really that great. I thought it was actually death. It's just D6 points per cleric level. What a ripoff. <laughs> so you take 5D6 points of death. <laughs> okay. That I've, was I've taken your Taken your death damage. And then his smite damage is uh 13 and then his normal damage and you can roll your fortitude save so you take 18 13 uh 16 and a fortitude save versus mummy rock so stupid i should just fucking parry the thing herp a darp Oh well.
Okay, that's a fortitude save, so you take a pile of damage. And I think that's all he gets to do. And then it is the mage's turn. And uh, let's see where we are with him. He has the best way of checking for a 60 foot cone. Dark vision. A reflex save for half. God damn it. I assume it's everybody. Yes, it reaches all the way down to Yam. Corner code. Uh, DC is 22. You said reflex? Yes, reflex save. Um, everyone gets plus four on this. Well, if it's not being counted, those two uh, 19s would save. Uh, mine is being counted, so... What did you say it was? 21? 22. We're good. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Woo! Fuck. You go, Barda. <laughs> Right on the dot. What's the damage? 43? 43, save for half. You made the check. Can, you, Corey? can I use my god thing retroactively or no? Nope. You have to call it before you use it. Alright. If you don't have a luck bonus in play, you can use that. Not gonna meet up. You said it was twenty two, right? Yeah. Nope. Only a plus two. Oh, I screwed that up. It's supposed to be thirteen d six, not twelve. So one more point. Forty four. Save for twenty two. Ain't good. Did you make the save, Barda? You said 21 to save, right? 22. Oh, no, nah, that's that's way oh, worse. I, I just thought you had a bonus in there, that's all. No, I thought I, I thought you said 21. So disappointing. I missed it by one point. No wonder yeah, you said No, you didn't. Barter. Yam is giving bonuses, isn't he? Plus four. Oh, then I did make it. That's what I just said. Well, I didn't, I didn't know about yams. I'm trying to keep track of it, but he's giving different bonuses every five minutes. No, I realize that. I asked if you were counting the bonus on that, because 21 I, isn't no, a I save, but with the bonus it is. When you guys roll the standard character sheet saves, I assume that you haven't added the bonus. Like when Corey rolls, he puts all of his mods in. Okay, then you make the save. It's 22 points if you made it. Yep. So it should be one lower. Okay. Uh, Yogi, are you immune to cold? Uh, 30 resistance. Oh, you made the save, so it didn't uh, do anything. Okay. Oh, and he's right up against the silence, too. Okay, well, then he will use his fast spell to dispel the silence. He will do a targeted dispel on uh, Kronos. What magic do you currently have active on you? Silence. Just silence? You don't have any other spells on you? Uh, uh, greater haste, technically. Haste. Oh, So that would be a 28 to dispel uh, your greater haste. So I think that gets rid of your haste. 
What's the next highest level spell you have on you? Silence. You only have the two spells? Yeah. That's uh, a 24, which I think also gets rid of it. Wow, I was expecting a lot more than that. That kind of sucks. Nope. Okay, then I will go with a swift magic missile. Which it's been so long since he's... Oh no, it's still on there. So he will also hit you with a swift magic missile. 17 points. And that concludes the mage portion of our program. And the zombies will shuffle up. So he can charge to there and attack you. Charge? Sounds like you got an attack roll on him. Uh, yeah, you actually do get an attack of opportunity on him because the only way zombies can attack is if they charge. Splat. So they can't five foot in. Okay. How many attacks of opportunity do you get? Seven. Bring them all down. I will, in fact, do that. Unfortunately, none of the other ones can charge because they don't have line of sight. If they want to move down here, feel free. Are they doing cautious movement or are they doing just a slow meander thunderfuck? Oh, look, there's more of them. Yeah, they're just uh, meandering up. I think I only get one of them then. I don't think you get any of them because the first one can uh, five foot in. Although he's not intelligent enough to do that, so he'd walk right up to you. Splat. Splat, crackle, pop. So those two would uh, provoke. Splat, crackle, pop. I mean, hey, if the zombies see their friends dying and want to move up more, feel free. Uh, no, I think that's the limit of their movement rate. Damn. Sucks to suck. The only reason those two could move up further is because they were within 30 feet of you. Oh, shit, I didn't scroll down. There's a whole bunch of other stuff down here. We're crossing into map four now. Mistakes were made. Okay, so the zombies have gone. There's no white in motion at the moment, so we're on to Barda. Would I be considered flanking if I move, if I was here? No, because you're not flanking with anyone. You could move up beside Yogi. Uh, oh shit! No, you can't. I'm trying oh, to yeah. figure out the best way to help Kronos. Heal me? <laughs> You'd flank here, no? Like, if you sit yeah. here? You can. Yeah, oh, yeah, Kronos if you went there, right next like, to Kronos. Yeah, he wants to be next to Kronos, which isn't flank, but the square south of Yogi is. I mean, Corey's just going to move up anyway and one-shot it because it's flanked. So. You could delay until after Corey, and Corey would flank it, and then you could move up if it's not dead. 
I don't know how he's going to move up here. He can always just move there, I think. I don't think this weapon prevents movement. No, but he provokes in the Bodak as he goes by. I don't think the Bodak's going to be too big a problem there for you, buddy. What is your call? No, I'm not too worried about the Bodak. I was just hoping to get close to Cronus to help him. But I can't. I have no way of doing so. You can do that. That'll do it. Yeah, I'd have to move to the Bodax square. Well, not once, but twice. He only gets one AOO. Yeah. I can give it to him. Hopefully he doesn't hit, otherwise I can't cast the spell. I'm going to open myself up to a few other AOOs just to cast the spell. 21 to hit on you? Nope. Okay. And for future reference, I'm going to be looking in this direction. Not at the Bodak. Yeah, it's called diverting. Yeah. Uh, so sure, you can start but I won't by be averting from the other... your percentile. Okay. Roll and then I will... Oh, I have to roll right now for it? Yeah, you just walk past the Bodak. Believe in you. Nice. Okay. Then you can do whatever you're going to do. I will... Super threatened square. Yeah, but he's also super close to dead. So I think the risk is probably worth it. Um, I think here Sirius is the highest level I have right, you, available right now. You didn't put lesser heal in memory? No, I do have lesser heal. Good point. I didn't even think about that. Yes, lesser heal. Holy poop. I completely forgot about that. Okay, uh, that does 110 points of healing. Okay, I will go ahead and use that on Kronos. Okay, roll your spellcraft. What do I need to roll? DC 20. 15 plus the spell level. Uh, ah. So I have plus 4 to that, right? From... Your, from... Uh, or is I that not true? I have that first plus day. 4 to that. So... I could luck that to a 19, but I don't think I can get that to a 20. Yogi, luck him. <laughs> All right. I love you. You're the best ever. Did you hear that, Yam? I mean, it's a lot of hit points. Best ever. Okay, well, if Yogi's going to luck it, then you are up 110 hit points. Final countdown. Don't forget, so, don't forget wait, what happened to Kronos with the snail thing? He doesn't have the haste anymore. All right. Okay. And that'll be my turn. I have a swift action available, but I don't really have anyone to use it on. Good. Okay. So these guys get attack of opportunities on my, me for casting a spell within the attack, of, attack range? Okay, you doing anything else, Berta? Nope, that's everything. Okay, uh, then we are on to the skeletons, which I've already moved up, and the ghast, which I've already moved up, and then Quarry. Um, isn't it uh, extra tone time? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's Quarry. Oh, okay, I was just confused why he's rolling initiative. All right. Because Bart is crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's last in initiative. That's possible critical. Oh, he made your percentile two times in a row. That's a hit. Don't forget you have 20% mischance on all of them. What? I... You're averting. That's why you roll the percentile at the front instead of the save. Oh, I, okay. I thought the percentile was you avert, you don't take the death gaze, and you can get your attacks on. No, the percentile is you don't take the death gaze, so you don't have to make the save. The consequence of that is you have 20% mischance. 
you close your eyes, you have a hundred percent missed chance, and if you don't avert your eyes, you have a hundred percent gaze chance. Actually, I should just roll these all at once. You only hit five times? No, I hit six times, and I only missed it once for the percentile. No, you didn't. Second. You got all of them. No, 40%. Oh, he's 20%. Yeah, 20%. Okay. yeah, it's only 20%. It sucks if you miss it, but it's not a big chance. When you're rolling six attacks, you definitely have a high probability of missing at least once. But you just burn through three or four of your uh, high rolls. Are you done, Corey? Yeah, he's super dead. Okay, I was just waiting for you to mark it or say it or do something. Okay, uh, then we're on DM. It was like 200 and something, 280 points of damage or some ludicrous number. Yeah, no, I believe you. I just didn't realize that and you didn't say anything and didn't put an X on him, so I was just waiting for you to finish. Just in time for Yam to not have to make the save. I made the will save. Oh. Alright, I will five foot step here and use my special ability, grant move action. Woo! Everyone gets a free move action. Um, how about it? That Roll seems your AOO. Like, seems terrible. Um, so you guys can roll your fortitude save. Kronos, Barda, Yogi. Fortitude. Will save. Sorry. Ha ha. Nice. What is this for? For the 10 foot blast from the Bodak. Coming for you, Magic Man. Here I come. Here I come. I'm Cinemon. Oh, hello. Fact. So you there. get three zombie there. attacks and a mummy attack? Oh, yeah. I think there's the most efficient. There's the the mummy efficient. wails on you, and he is smiting you. So, uh, eighty percent mischance. Oh, sorry, fifty percent mischance. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. didn't we did it? It was it finally. It finally made someone miss. I don't think smite overcomes that either. Bypasses dr, but not uh, mischance. Okay, and then the three zombies attack you. That's actually efficient here. They all miss. Yep, that's efficient. 
the cast are threatened somehow, then he can feel free to attack he me as well. He will definitely attack you. Do it. Actually, he will not attack you. Why not? Well, because he needs his staff for casting, and he doesn't want to be disarmed. If only I had that ability. (laughs) Do not have that ability. No, but you do have... Oh, oh, yeah, it's the parrying that causes the disarm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not... He's not going to take the chance attacking you. He has almost no chance of hitting you, and it's not a risk he's willing to take. Well, Cory and Yogi, feel free to move up and do whatever you want. Okay. Um, what are you guys doing? They have to go through a crowd of zombies. What is it to go through? It's 25 to go through an occupied square, right? Yep. So I'd have to roll two DC 25 acrobatics checks to get through two occupied squares. Uh, no, the first one would be 25, the second one would be 27. And are we getting any bonuses to dexterity checks? Um, plus 11 within 30, plus 9 within 60. So I could do that easily. Just saying that now, I'll roll two ones. That's without the plus uh, 11 or whatever. Okay. Those would both be successful. Holy shit, there's a whole other room down there. Yeah, I told you you're about to go on to map four. I was still in the process of moving legions of undead up when I had to start paying attention to what you silly people are doing. Okay. Um, Is that all the movement done? Uh, Barda and Yogi, I think they've done their movement. So yeah, that's everyone. Um, I will take the rest of my turn now. Um... up to about here um and as part of my move action all i mean actually i still have the rod out actually um so i will use my belt of battle to take another stand action and i will cast silence on chronos okay and that will be my turn you're casting a spell Uh, Yes, from the rod uh, wand. Okay. Uh, The uh, skeletal mage will counter that. He can't cast offensively, so good luck. Yeah, well, take your best shot, dude. I will take my best shot. I will like it. He doesn't provoke when he uses immediate action. We tried. (laughs) Okay, uh, then we're on to Yogi. So what did he use exactly? Can you just double check? Counterspell. Can you counterspell his counterspell with your counterspell ability? Do you have that yet? I don't have that. Damn, so close. Okay. What are you doing, Yogi? Oh, kill.
So he does. How come he doesn't provoke an attack? Uh, because it's an immediate action. Uh, immediate uh, actions, uh, swift actions, and uh, fast actions, move actions don't provoke. It's only standard spell casting that provokes. Fair enough. All right. How much does the mummy heal? I healed him. You just healed uh, two points. Oh, he's dead. See, that, on the other hand, causes a massive explosion. And apparently it's been a while since you guys killed a mummy. I killed two of them just yeah. a little while ago. No, mummy lords. I don't have a 66 on my table. Oh, lord. It scares me when we kill mummies. 19 points, save for half. Uh, that's a DC 26 check. All right, I take nothing. Okay. Corey's at a range, that just leaves Barda. Okay, everybody takes nothing, and are you are you done, Yogi? Done. Okay, I think that's the end of the round. Oh no, we still have Barda. Way down at the Barda, way down at the bottom is Barda. Right at the Barda, the order. I'll go ahead and move up to here. If he gets a attack opportunity, to let him attack. He has already made his attack on Kronos. Just to verify, we still get the plus seven to attacks? Uh, yeah, for a couple more rounds. You know it would be really wicked? If we had, like, prayer cast at the beginning of every combat? Yeah, but prayer only lasts around a level. So does haste, and so does Bard's song. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess you could extend it as well. Um, Eleven but, rounds is a lot when you can't miss. That is true. The uh, the luck bonus of prayer is pretty fucking nasty. Gets rid of the one two three problem. Yeah, especially when you're when you only fail your saves by one two or a three. That is nice too. Yeah, if only your bard thought to or your cleric thought to take that. Yeah, Bard. Take the prayer spell too, bitch. Don't worry, we'll have it next time. <laughs> okay, I can start taking it. Then I can double extend it to what, five you, rounds per level? You for won't a total of 50? Extend it. You really won't have 55? to. That's actually a huge waste. Yeah, we don't, I don't think we need 50 rounds of prayer. <laughs> I don't think we need that. But that would mean that it would last through several fights. Maybe. Well, you're coming up on the end of your uh, haste and uh, bard song now. Uh, I mean, it's still got like once this is over, four more turns. Yeah. But in four more turns, it's over. And you would have 40 more turns after that if it was double extended. Um, so then we are back to the top of initiative. Yep. Is it initiative or is it our cycle of attack? Nope, that was your cycle of attack. So that's initiative. Plus 11, yeah? Yeah.
Did you roll, Barda? Oh, I guess my click can't go through. Oh, and that didn't, apparently I wasn't clicked on my token that time. You're really not very good at this. There we go. you think I'd have learned by now. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> 